Hi, this is video one from Got That Funk called Questions for People Smarter Than Me. And um, this will be a series, very intermittent. I might do one a month or something like that. This one revolves around the Big Bang Theory. And, you know, I've done an awful lot of reading about the Big Bang Theory, and I remember studying it in high school a bit. And when I was in high school in the 70s, it was actually a lot less widely accepted than it is now. But I do have some questions. For example, if you dial yourself back to the the moment of the Big Bang in terms of time, um, and it starts off with a singularity. Now, the size of the singularity to me is completely immaterial, um, because size is all relative, you know, um, everything is only big or small compared to something else. Um, and if the singularity is all there is, then it's neither big nor small, but I'm digressing. My question is this, if you were like, say, on the outside of the singularity, and, um, you say, just say, I don't know, a thousand meters outside the singularity and um, just as the singularity just before the singularity rather started to expand you started to move away at the speed of light say two seconds before it started to expand so when you look back at it it will always be a singularity won't it it will never start expanding and if that's the case isn't it also true that if you're a thousand meters on the outside of the singularity and at the moment it starts to expand at the speed of light you start moving away from it at the speed of light. So from your point of view, won't it always be expanding? Therefore, isn't this Big Bang still happening? This has Got That Funk. May all your ups and downs be ups.